Hello everyone. So this past weekend has been a lot of tournaments that's been going on, like women's basketball tournaments. And it's just been, I would say, hella shocking, like just crazy. Like I'm not just saying it's just to be hypocritical, but it was seriously just off the chain. Like I watched, now I just couldn't believe what I watched yesterday. Kentucky versus South Carolina. South Carolina is Don Staley team, for all we know. Then we have the coach Kyra Elsie, Kyra Elsie for Kentucky. I was, I just couldn't believe what I saw yesterday. Like that player at which blew my mind when she shot that three point shot, like right at like the maybe the last minute of the fourth quarter, I was like, oh my God, like my eyes popped out because I couldn't believe that Kentucky actually beat South Carolina. But Kentucky did play a good game. They played better than how they normally play when they did play South Carolina, you know, the past few times because they played South Carolina a few times and they've always lost. But this game, I was just in complete hell of a shot. Because before they play, I was like, oh, well, you know, I'm going to be honest. I was hoping Kentucky beat them because, you know, South Carolina wins so many games. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing that they win so many games, but I'm just, you know, you want to see other teams improve and you want to see other teams have confidence and don't be intimidated about, you know, don't be intimidated with these other teams that always win, like South Carolina. South Carolina, you cannot be intimidated by them. You got to play as hard as them because they're a quick team. They play very aggressive. You have to do just the same as them. And Kentucky did just that. It was just like, I, I didn't write down much because I pretty much know what I want to say. And to me, you know, I'm going to put it like this. I'm happy for Kentucky. I'm very happy that they beat South Carolina. South Carolina, I mean, they lost, but this is something they need to just go back and see what they did wrong. This is just a wake-up call right here, a learning experience. Because to me, I felt like they shouldn't have lost that game. They shouldn't have lost that game. And I'm not um, blaming the whole team because there's one specific person that caused the team to lose the game. And there's always that one person that's going to cause the team to lose the game. Because everybody else on South Carolina, they play hard. But it's just this one player that boom, that was just... I'm, I'm just trying to figure out why Don Staley kept her in the game. Because I would have took her out immediately as soon as I seen her screw up. And that player, I'm going to say her name. Because I know I've been... Um, watching other videos and I've been reading the comments and some people are thinking the same thing I'm thinking. And that is Zaya Cook. Zaya Cook is, I would say, part of the reason. I wouldn't say part, but I think she's the main reason why they lost that game. For number one, towards the end, she had free throws. She missed both of her free throws. You win the game with free throws. Free throws win game. And I hope Don Staley is watching this video because Don Staley, if you are watching this video, um, you know when you guys played Old Mississippi the day before, I believe that was Saturday that just passed. You guys played Old Mississippi for the tournament and you guys beat Old Mississippi. You saw that Zaya Cook was messing up and you took her out of the game immediately. You didn't even let her play. Maybe she scored about three points, but she didn't score much. She didn't play as much because you knew she was messing up. You knew, you know, that wasn't her time to play. She needed to sit down and think about what she needed to do. And for the game yesterday with Kentucky, again, congratulations Congratulations to Kentucky for winning the SEC tournament. You guys deserve it. I just feel like, okay, Don Staley should have took Zaya Cook out the game. And 
when I, the ways I cook was planned, she, okay, again, she missed her free throws. Another thing, when she was getting the ball, like when they get, like, the rebound, like, say the other team tried to shoot, and then the ball don't go in the hoop, but she get the rebound. She gets the ball, and she, okay, it's okay to drive the ball, drive the ball down, but she would just just going in and they was taking the ball from her. I'm like, you need to get it, slow it down. Because I believe Destiny Henderson, she's like the main point guard, but Destiny Henderson was sitting down for a while. So it appeared that um, Zion Cook had to play that point guard, play, play that point guard role while Destiny Henderson was sitting down. And Zion Cook didn't do a good job. Because when she got the ball, she was just going in, going in, thinking she could go through five, six of them. And they ended up taking the ball from her like one, two times. And then there were times where she was just throwing the ball up, trying to um, play showboat. To me, it looked like she was on the court trying to play showboat a few times. I didn't like that. And, and I'm thinking, I'm like, why didn't Don take her off the game? And if she would have made her free throws toward the end, they probably would have won that game. And then the way they were, the way she was playing, just throwing the ball up and getting the ball taken away, that's a sign right there, Donna. Like, take her out. Okay, like, the day before you took her out, okay, she's screwing up again, take her out again. And what I didn't like with this game was that my question is, because I'm not behind the scenes to figure out why coaches think what they think. There's a player on the floor. There's a player on the bench, Littleton. Littleton is a good three-point shooter. Why was she not in the game? I don't even think she played yesterday. And when they played um, Ole Miss that Saturday, I didn't even think she played that game either. So my question is, why was Littleton, why, why wasn't Littleton in the game? Littleton should have been playing. Because she's a good three-point shooter. I believe if she was in the game playing with them, they probably, I'm sure they would have won the game. And the winning shot, I want to talk about Kentucky. Now, Kentucky, I it looks like they're improving. You know, it just takes for them. I think they're adjusting more to each other now on the court. I can see that. It seems like they're getting used to, you know, they're getting used to each other. Like that vibe is getting there with them. Because I know in the beginning of the season, they were kind of just not playing well. They were losing a few times. Um, but it, seemed, it looks like they gotten better at it. Uh, who that played that did the winning shot? Dre Una. I think her name is Dre Una Edwards. Now, that was a miracle three-point shot. Even though she is a good three-point shooter, but at the end, at that buzzer, in the fourth quarter, that was a miracle three-point shot because I couldn't believe that happened. My eyes popped out. Um, you got Treasure Hunt. She's a good player. Like, I know, um, what's her name? Ryan Howard is a good player, and they were putting her up on the pedestal. But them other players on Kentucky, they were playing, like, just as hard or even harder. Like, you got Treasure Hunt. They was um, they was going at it, too, on the court. Ryan Howard was not the only one that made the team win. You had Treasure Hunt that chipped in. You got, um, what's the other player name? You have Jasmine. I wrote a name down. Jasmine Mazengill. I think that's the name. That's the one that gave the ball to Edwards, and Edwards did the winning shot. And then there's another freshman on the team who's very good. Like, she playing like she a sophomore, junior, senior already. I would say a junior, senior, and she's good. I'm going to look up her name. But she's, she's good. Um, let me see. I'm trying to, I should have had her name up, but let me see. Get the roster. There's a few of them, a few of them I already know. I don't know if her name is Olivia. No, that's not her. Um, 
Let's see. Oh, okay. I think her name is Jada Walker. She had like a shield on her face. I don't know if her nose got busted or something or she got hurt, but she had a shield on her face. So she's a freshman. I'm going to make sure. Because they, they did say she was a freshman. Yeah, her name was Jada Walker. She plays good. Now, Kyra, Kyra Elsie need to be putting her as a starting five. I'm, I can't remember if she was a starting five, but she needs to be the starting five. It needs to be her, Renee Howard, Treasure Hunt, Jasmine Mazingale, and Edwards. That would be my starting five. But that was just a miracle. Miracle shot. I can't believe Kentucky won the SEC tournament. tournament. And with South Carolina, you know, they were actually beating Kentucky. They were like far off from points beating Kentucky, which I didn't understand why they lost that game. And I was hoping Kentucky beat South Carolina, but in a way, the way South Carolina was playing because they were far ahead in points, you know, it, South Carolina really had no business losing the, um, losing the, losing the game. How you gonna let Kentucky come up when they was far behind in points? And I'm gonna just keep it real. Zaya Cook was the reason why they lost. Don Staley knew she was screwing up and she should have took her off the game. Like, that don't make no sense. And Littleton should have been put in the game for the three point shots. See, if Zaya Cook would have made her free throws, they probably would have won the game. So that's something Zaya Cook needs to work on. She needs to work on her three point shots. So, you know, it was, that was a um, really good game yesterday. And there were some other games on, too. Um, I ended up watching Utah versus um, Stanford. Stanford, these are the, the women, women's basketball team, college. Stanford ended up winning. But to me, I feel like Utah wasn't no competition. They had it easy with Utah. So they won. And then there was another team. I think it was maybe who played. I know Iowa won their tournament. And there's another game tonight. So tonight is Monday. I think Connecticut played tonight. I have to see what channel they're on. I hope they come on national television because I do want to see them play in the tournament. But, you know, this is just something that University of South Carolina need to just learn from. Um, I just hope they don't be down about this because they're still, you know, going to play for the championship game. I I do hope they do win the championship game, to be honest. I, I am rooting for South Carolina. Like, this is just a wake-up call right here. This game, the way they played was a wake-up call. And I hope Don Staley realized the way Zion Cook was playing – yesterday when she was messing up again for the second time i hope this is a wake-up call for the coach and i normally you know talk about what the players doing right or wrong but this time i you know sometimes you gotta blame you gotta put some blame on the coach because like again because like i said again she shouldn't have had zaya cook in there just carrying on with that foolishness on the court Missing free throws. Then she go in there and getting the ball taken away from her. I would have been like, okay, take her out. Like, it was just so much going on. And I, I, and I normally write a lot of notes on, you know, games. But this time I didn't write notes because I can just automatically see what was going on with that game. I was like, there's no way in hell I need to write notes for this game because I... I can see why they lost. So, um, again, there's some tournament games on tonight. There were a lot on this weekend. I was busy watching those games. I stayed on watching those games. So, I know I saw Utah and Stanford play. And there was another game. I know North Carolina, I think North Carolina State, they won a tournament. I think it was against Miami. I was shocked to see University of Miami make it far in the tournament. But um, they lost against North Carolina, I believe. 
So the score from yesterday was 64. University of Kentucky has 64. And South Carolina has 62. So by me saying what the score is, it showed that South Carolina could have just beat them. It was a tight game. That three-point shot that Edwards made, you know, I'm not saying that didn't need to happen because I'm glad it did happen, but that could have been avoided. <laughs> you know, that could have been avoided. with That three-point shot, that could have been avoided, to be honest. But anyway, congratulations to the Kentucky Wildcats. I'm glad you guys um, beat South Carolina. And in a way, by winning this game, it shows that anything is possible. Don't give up. And that's the thing about Kentucky. They did not give up. They did not. It just shows there is hope. And I know that University of South Carolina is number one. But to me, by watching that game yesterday, it showed Kentucky proved that anything is possible. Like, it don't matter if you're number one, number two, because University of Kentucky, they not n number one. They probably like in the top, you know, out of all the women's college basketball teams, they probably like in the top maybe 25, but they not number one. And they beat a number one team yesterday. So anything is possible. And that goes for the same thing when... University of South Carolina try to go for the main championship game. And they're going to talk about that this weekend. Who, like the teams that are going to, that's going to be in the running for the um, actual championship game. Like they, um, University of South Carolina, they number one. But anything is possible. Anything is possible. And Kentucky proved that. So um, I just wanted to talk about the SEC tournament from yesterday. Um, you guys have a great day. Keep watching basketball. Good, goodbye.